hang out one second. Y'all enjoy the game? Yeah. Did you enjoy the game? Yeah. Yeah, it's a new question. I think Grant Hill enjoyed the game too. Oh, you saw Grant Hill? Yeah, he was sitting courtside. That's good. All right, questions whenever you guys are ready. What was so different in the, the second half um, versus the first half? Because it seemed like a totally different flow. Uh, I think um, sometimes we just come out slow. Um, we just came out kind of slow on offense. It wasn't really flowing for us good, but I think once we settled in and just you know, started taking good shots, making each other better on offense, we got each other a lot of good shots uh, the second half. The first half, we were just kind of, it was like too stagnant. Um, but we played good, good defense in both halves, so that, that gave us a chance to kind of spread the lead in the, in the second half, and then we just took better shots and got better shots and knocked them down. Can you talk about how your defense sort of keeps you in games, especially in that first half when the offense is really struggling, how uh, the defense continues to really shine. And you guys were only down by one going into that half. Yeah, I think, I mean, we're always told, um, you know, our offense isn't going to be there every night. You know, we're going to miss some shots some nights. We're going to be slow on offense some nights, but we can play defense every single night. That's why we take so much pride in, in playing defense. Um, so that's kind of, you know, where we hang our hat. That's what we, you know, um, where we start every night. And it gives us a chance to win every night. If you just rely on offense and you start missing those shots, you kind of don't know what to fall back on. But we always fall back on just getting stops and and you know to the next defensive stop, and that keeps us keeps us going. No other UCF uh, basketball team has ever beaten Memphis three times in a row. You guys are a part of, you know, I guess a little bit of history yourself. What does that mean to you? I mean, I, th I think I think that's big time. We talked about that before. Um, you know, if you look at the overall record between Memphis and, and UCF, it's not even close. I think it's what yeah. twenty two to like four now, yeah. three something like that. So um, that that that's huge. We want to leave our legacy here. We want to be a part of something big. I think that's why we're all here. That's you know something we preach every day. So to beat such a you know a historic program and and such a good program, you know they they're a prideful program too. They're not just gonna let us. Uh, win any games. We have to really go out and fight for those wins, and I just think, um, you know, we, we've been doing a good job. We're able to pull out wins in those games. AJ, uh, like three minutes left in the game, y'all are up six. Um, I think I counted like seven play, different possessions you had your hand on it, whether it was an assist to Taco, a rebound, the score in the end. Can you just talk about like this is your senior year, the growth the last few years, and just how you're able to control that, those elements of the game? Um, I would just say that I've been in a lot of different experiences, a lot of different games. You know, when I was young, when I was a freshman, th those moments felt so fast. Like those moments felt so, I felt so much pressure. I felt, you know, like now it's just, it's so slow. I already know what I'm doing. I already know what I'm looking for. Um, you know, I just, I'm, I'm older now, you know. I, I would just say that I've uh, really learned from my experiences. My coaching staff has really, really taught me and showed me, um, you know, how to, you know, lock in and, and kind of, help control our guys. Really, it's it's all of us doing our part. It just, you know, looks like I'm in the play, but, um, you know, everybody's really slowed down and we're, we're learning how to win those games at the end of the game. You know, we're learning how to get those important plays and, um, you know, we're just taking them play by play and, and executing down the stretch and I'm just, just a part of it. How would you guys kind of um, evaluate how you guys have done early in the conference schedule here? I think we're doing good. Yeah, we're doing good. Yeah, I think that is. It's early. It's early. You know, um, we want to just take it game by game, and and uh, we, we we only can take one game at a time. You know, we lost early, but now we're we're bouncing back and um, just taking it one game at a time. Caesar, what are your thoughts on that? I don't I know if you can answer any questions tonight. Just no, being, no, no. being two and one. And, I, get, I get nervous. I get nervous when I do it. But um, <laughs> now nah, um, it was just the overall yeah, win. It was it was just um a great win, a team win, and just like you can see like. From like where we were from the beginning of the season to where we are now, we play more as a team, and that's why we're winning. And we just defense, defense is just the answer to everything for me. Yeah. Grant Hill was here. Did he talk to you guys after the game, or what was that like? Yeah, yeah, he, <laughs> he, talked to, he talked to us. He, to, he, just, he, he just told us to like keep working hard and just keep listening to our coaches because we have a great coaching staff, especially Johnny Dawkins. Everybody knows his resume. He's just a legend, so like just listening to him and having him as a coach is just like an advantage. So like just listen to him and we'll be fine. Caesar, have you, how have you seen yourself develop over the season so far? Um, just I'm growing a lot. Like it's just my growth is getting a lot better. I'm making better choices and all that. It's just <clears throat> so like I guess I'm growing up. You could say. Anywhere you see yourself that needs an improvement? Uh, no. 
I like it. Are three pointers like that contagious? Like, is it a thing where you see one guy hit and then it just makes it easier for everybody else to open up? Uh, yeah, of course, of course. This is like a domino effect, but also like we're also in the gym a lot. Like, with the coaches got us working on our three balls and everything. So like we put in the work. So like, why not take them? We. I heard that um, kind of like after everything else, the euphoria that's gone on with the football team that it was kind of discussed a little bit within the locker room about you know just the dedication that they put in, sleeping in the film room and things like that. When you look at your season and everything that you guys have done within these last two years, how did how is it impacting you and are you guys driven even more seeing what the football team has been through? I mean, I've, I've been here, I was here when they were 0-12, you know, I was I was here a part of this school um, when they were 0-12, you know, and we were looking like, wow, they didn't win one game. So to see them come full circle and you know, really be one of the best teams in the country, if not the best team in the country. That's that's just amazing to see how they persevere. That's the, that's the same team, really. You know, that's that's the same guys that were here when we were when they were 0 and 12. You know, so um, I think that's the biggest thing is that you can't you you can change so quick. Johnny Johnny always talks about how when he was at Duke his first year he was 11 and 17 or something, and then his senior year he was in. You know the the national championship game. It doesn't. It doesn't. You don't have to take years and years and years to leave your legacy. You can change it right now if you if you change your mindset and change how you think and change, um, you know how you approach things. How you, you know, winning programs. There's there's certain way to go about it, and they do certain things and they think certain ways. So um, I think that's just kind of what we took from it is their mindset. You know how they approached everything, how they got to going from 0 and 12 to a perfect season where they they couldn't be beat. I mean. They beat the team that's playing for the national championship. That that doesn't make any sense, you know. Like, how are they? They should have been playing for the, the national championship in our eyes because they were they they're one of the best teams in the country. You know, we don't understand that. So um, we just tip our hats to them. Um, you know, congratulate them in our eyes. They're the national champions, and um, you know, we're just proud of them. Proud to to go to the same university as them because that's an awesome accomplishment. Especially you know, for me, seeing where they came from, going 0 and, 0 and 12 to to where they are now, that's just unbelievable. And I think it's their mindset, how they approach everything. Coach Dawkins talked about how Chance is kind of the primary uh, premier defender with him out right now. Do either of you guys kind of try to become that main guy now on defense? Um, you know, we all, Chance is, is just a little different because he, he, he does, um, you know, his, his energy and, and how he picks it up. Chance can pick up the ball full court and, and you know, we just let him play. You know, all of us don't do that. That's, that's a lot of energy, a lot of, uh, you know, he, he works on that and he's, he's good at that. But, you know, I think all of us, we, we play team defense just like we play team team offense. So, um, you know, he, he had a specialty in our defense that, that he did, but, um, you know, that was just one part of it. I think we'll, we'll be just as solid. And, and as always, when somebody goes down, somebody else steps up for us. I think that's a big part of our program. Even last year when guys got hurt, you know, BJ went down, I went down, um, you know, guys get hurt and, and we know that happens, but we know um, somebody has to step up. So whether it's C's guarding the best player, or Dayon guarding the best player, Rao, me, whoever has to do it, we're, somebody's just going to step up and we're going to get that done to get the win. Has there been a point of frustration at all that it just seems like there's always some kind of a roadblock? Man, yeah, I don't know if we're unlucky or <laughs> if it's not, even, it's like wild stuff too. It's not even like, you know, it's just like God lands funny and he gets hurt or, you know, it's just unlucky stuff, but that that's part of the game. You know, if you look at the NBA, if you look anywhere, that's, we're not the only school with injuries. You know, we don't use that as an excuse. We don't use that for anything. That's part of basketball. Somebody else has to step up and, and fill in what that, what that guy does because it's going to happen. Like, you never know what could happen. Somebody not gonna work, somebody could get hurt tomorrow and somebody else is going to have to step up. But that's just, that's just part of the game. So we don't even... You know, it sucks for us. We, I wish BJ could have been out here the whole season. I wish Aubrey could have been out here the whole season. I wish Taco would have never got hurt. I wish Chance wasn't hurt right now, but that's part of the game. You know, there's nothing that we can do about it. Just everybody else step up and just focus on winning the game because that's all we're worried about. Somebody else can do what they were doing and we're going to keep it moving. That's how we got to look at it. A couple more. AJ, how many players on the team watch anime? Anime. Uh, <laughs> No, I think Colin does too. Colin, yeah, a couple. Yeah. I like Dragon Ball Z, so three, I guess. Dragon Ball Z anime? Yeah, that's, can, that's the anime, right? Yeah. yeah. Everybody watches anime there. Everybody watches Dragon Ball Z. I think a couple others. <laughs> a couple others. You know. Really, the two biggest ones are Colin and Taco. Yeah. 
I don't, I don't, I watch Dragon Ball Z. That's probably Colin my favorite Smith, show. Right? Yeah. Colin Smith, yep. Um, and Taco. You watch Dragon Ball Super? I haven't started that. They, they uh, only Omar. got it in um, Chinese, right? <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Dan? <laughs> yeah, it's not country rule. Yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's probably better. I'll than check it out. I got it here in English. That's it. All right, let's. let's I got it here in English. <laughs> <laughs> I can't 